what I definitely recommend are battle cruisers in mass, and um, tanks, marines, and vikings at the front to hold off any attack that comes that way. Alright, now I don't want to know... Is this the refrigerator generator? Or is there one here? Or am I just a fool? Alright, here's another base. Alright, now what what you have to do for the um, Yamato cannon is you have to... Because like, you can't just hit Yamato once and then uh, and then just expect it to attack. What will happen is if you hit it once, ol it'll only one battlecruiser will Yamato. So, so what you instead have to do is hit Yamato like however many times for however many battlecruisers you have. You actually. All right, and a. Uh oh. Uh oh. Antaro Tassida, friend Reno. The Talderim have imprisoned all who oppose them. Release us, and we will gladly fight at your side against them. And there you go, there's your bonus objective. Simply make sure that the Taldarim get out. Or well, not the Taldarim, the Taldarim prisoners get out, sorry. Okay, got a bunch of warp prisms because, well, they suck. Alright, let's build another starport. Pull away. Okay, now, a good goal that you can do with this is once you take out one right field generator, just pull back and repair because right field generators, though it. So per second they don't do what seems like a lot of damage. After a while, they will do a surprising amount of damage and it's actually pretty scary. Um, I would say that upgrades are actually pretty key in this one. I actually, I'm going to get rid of that and go for plating since they have the right field to deal with. Um, armor is actually really a decent thing to get in this one because... Here's the Yamato by the way. I believe the game literally calls it a plasma bolt. Plasma cannon, sorry. Alright. Transforming, let's get into the fight. Um uh, we're gonna want a medevac. Alright, so the reason why I'm getting the medevac is so that eventually we can transport the SCVs over. Cause I'm just planning ahead. Alright, what we're gonna do is pull you two off. Alright, there we go. Now you're much more defended. Okay. Now, there are four areas where there are Taldarim prisoners. They're not too hard to free. All you have to do is just destroy the prison that they're in. They shouldn't be too, too guarded. They might be guarded from um, air attacks, or from air airships. I'm not sure. But, uh... What the heck did I do to this medevac? Is that the healing AI? What the heck, man? You two. I wanna... That's amazing. That's actually amazing. Battle cruiser. Alright, let's go for these prisoners. I've never actually seen the medevac with the AI before. That thing looks amazing. Anyway, alright. I'm gonna stop nerding out. Alright. I believe that once the, um, the Dark Temple are freed, I believe that a ramp just comes up and um, they just go start. They just start attacking. Now, now, a dark templar are cloaked and do a lot of damage, so they can only be revealed by things like, in this case, observers or cannons, since those two are both protoss revealers or <laughs> revealers, detectors. All right, Let's get started. All right, and there we go. What are they called? Okay. Our thanks, James Raynor. The Taldarim will pay for their treachery. We're gonna be able to hold it? And there you go, that's why I have Vikings, because I know that Phoenixes will eventually come. Alright, now you can control the High Templar, which I hadn't remembered if you could or not. Okay, I want... I want my last battle cruiser, so everyone pull back. Alright. Um, now here's the interesting thing. We now have units with, with a shield, so like this, he's not going to be damaged at all by the rip field because he, um... Oops, 
I don't know what I'm meant to do. Alright, so yeah. The Dark Templar- sorry, I got distracted. The Dark Templar have shields, so what you can do is come in and attack before you send your battle cruisers and make it so that all the battle cruisers have to do is just knock down the right foot generator. Or if you want, you can knock down the right foot generator with with a Dark Templar, but I believe it's a little bit harder since they're usually a little more guarded. For me, I'm just gonna start taking out the uh, major units such as Archons and everything. Minerals at this location. That'll be fun. Actually, no, let's not do that yet. Once we. Alright. Come on. Alright. So, a good tactic to use for the Dark Templar is just make sure that they kill everything that um, would damage the battle cruisers. Obviously, except for the Rift Generator. And then just make sure the way is clear, and then just go out and kill. It's a good way to do it. Alright, we are bringing in Rendell on Minerals. And do a set you to 5. I feel like this Medivac can hold twice as much as well. Alright, and then all you have to do is, once you run out of Minerals, just lift up your Command Center, and then fly over the Medivac. Oops. And there we go, it's the more prisoners. Alright, and what I'm doing during this time is I'm actually letting the Yamato Cannon um, energy increase. I'm gonna be okay? Alright, yeah, we're fine. Alright, let's see here. 45 damage per hit, that's a lot of damage. Let's get the Vespian. Alright. And as I have mentioned before, each thing of Vespine... Oh, it's so amazing how fast that is. Alright, let's begin to move in. You just... Yamato, Yamato, Yamato. Now I'll bring my... Oops, you go back. There we are, okay. Uh oh, so we are under attack by a carrier, which is something that the Taldarim, or that our Dark Templar cannot kill. However, they're usually pretty weak, and now that the Yamatos are going off, we should be able to kill it. And there we go. Pull away. And one thing that does suck a lot, too, is that the, um... Is that the fields do stack quite a lot. Oh, oh what's this? That Protoss mothership is formidable, sir. Scans indicate it's capable of cloaking nearby friends and phasing enemies out of existence for a short time. So basically, Matt Horner just explained exactly what's going on with the um ship, with the ship. All right, let's pull back. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna. Oops. I'm just gonna send someone to be here to repair so that once we come in with damaged battle cruisers, we'll be fine. Alright, and there we go. Set them back to five because my hand's already used to hitting that, and let us continue our attack. So, uh oh, must be a cannon around. Alright, so we're gonna have to work around the cannon. And so, as Matt Horner said, there is now a mothership out on the field. Oh, crud, pull away. Alright, we'll pull the. Pull them back. Hit the carriers who foolishly decided to be there. Alright. So the mothership is here, I believe, and it can, like Matt Horner said, cloak nearby, um, all nearby units, and it can do what's called a vortex, which sucks all units, including friendly units, into a giant vortex, and then, um, like, phasing them out of existence for a while. It can be damaging, but it's not too, too bad. Alright, let's go. Actually, pull back. Um, where do we want to hit? Do we want to hit this one? Or do we want to hit this one? Well, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go for the achievement, because I, I do believe it's an achievement on this one, to destroy all the Ripfield generators. 
So let's come on down there. Alright, let's get more Vespine. Whoa, there's three geysers? I hadn't even noticed that. I guess it's because there's so many, uh... There's just so much gas needed in this because you're building battle cruisers. Battle cruiser, battle cruiser, battle cruiser. Oh, can't kill more than three. Alright. I'm gonna have to move in after this and kill this cannon real quick and just snipe it. Just get motto and then get out of there, you know what I mean? Oh, okay, we're actually under attack. Um, should take out the Void Ray, there we go, and since Void Ray is overpowered... Alright, we're now getting gas at a decent rate without spending any SCVs. Alright, let's see if we can't do anything down here. Alright, four battle cruisers should be enough to take out, um, a uh, Ripfield Generator with four own Yamatos. Though, uh, since I used one Yamato, I won't be able to use it again. Where are you? Why are you not? Why are you not coming? Oh, because I told him to Yamato and they're not. He doesn't have enough energy. Alright, everyone, pull back. Pull away, pull away, pull away. We lost a Dark Templar. Alright, so that cannon's still operational. Alright, so actually, real quick, come back down here. You're not too, too damaged. Oops, I forgot. Just remember. Crit. Alright. How much does it cost? 300. Alright. You guys are all down here. Good. Calm. Uh oh. <laughs> That's funny, the SCV will be able to repair. Well, the Dark Templar just absolutely murder him. Alright, we're just gonna send in our battle cruisers to make sure they're fine. Alright, yeah.